Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, we learn about how to get user input or user data from using input. So let's see how it is done in Python. In Python, it's quite simple. Python comes with an inbuilt input function. So let's see. Maybe you want to check for the name. You are writing a program to check for the name. So for the names, then you do input. Input. In Python 2.7, you're supposed to do raw input. Then you that's how that's how the function is but in Python 3.5 it's only support input. Then let's say and uh, you enter well enter your full name. So whatever the person is going to enter is going to be stored in this variable and then you are going to use it. So like when I say enter your full name, so my full name is security right so when I print it when I suppose to print full name so that it has given to me it is quite simple for Python so you can use just this input format to be getting all the data that you want in Julia there's nothing there's no inbuilt function symbol but you can create one a function like that so that it will do that for you on your writing a program so function Let's create a program. We call it input. You can use any name, but making it this one become more consistent. Then use prompt, which is some of the inbuilt stuff. Then use abstract. Abstract string is usually used in other languages like C and then several other languages. You can use that one to help you with any string type so that you just accept any string type and then work with it perfectly. Then you put it inside this. So that whatever you're going to enter is going to enter come in between this. Then you follow for in a normal sentence. You print this prompt that you got. You print this prompt that is storing the information. Then again you return like as we have been learning our functions, chop, which is an inbuilt function. Then you read line, which is also an e Enable function which you be using most most when you're handling file systems like Word file, CVS file. So like this, then don't forget the end. So if it perfectly worked on, it's going to give us this generic function with two methods. So if I want to do something like this, I can just do call the function by just making it like full name. Then I'll do it like input then a normal function. Say enter your full name so so which is perfectly correct so whoever so just like this so I, I enter the same with the full name j security j cards so so that when i enter this it has stored it for us the same way if i'm supposed to do print line full name it has already stored it inside this variable whatever i entered here has been stored so when I go like this, that I have printed it for us perfectly. So I can be using the same format in all the programs I'm going to write. Maybe say uh, I can just use it for let's say age. Let's go to same thing input. Uh, what is your age? So what is my age? Let's say 19. So like it can just accept all of them, even although this is an integer, it's going to put all of them as a string for you. So when I print back again, h, so that has given given it to me. So this is one way you can do input function in Julia and then in Python. Python is quite simple because already inbuilt, but Julia has to define this function. I hope that I'm sure that in the near near future, then in the new upgrades, they are going to include a simple format for you to do this input okay so thank you for watching if you have any questions or suggestions you can put it in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed